How's it going everyone? And as always, welcome back to Continues to Tick. So I hope you're all doing well. This coming Monday will be now the beginning of 26 years on this planet for me. And I must say, it's felt overall rather slow. But when it comes to the last, let's say, 6 years, compared to the previous 20, <laughs> the last 6 years have flown by in comparison. But I imagine that's going to further become the norm. And the pace will continue to increase as I age and get even older. And the same, likely for you. That's at least what my father would say to me growing up. And as I continually get older, I'm really seeing more and more to what his point was. It just took time for me to see it. And speaking of time, I wanted to take the time to say an appreciation to all those that comment and view my videos. And there's many of you. So a big thank you to you all. And even more to those that do so routinely. I'm very appreciative of the support. In this video in particular, I wanted to take the time to share the story of Ronald Reed, a quite popular name in the world of dividend investing. And thanks to Luis for the video idea. And if any of you have any other video ideas or suggestions, I'm always up to listen. You see, when it comes to the late Ronald Reed, I can express the story of a man that was born from a small town who enlisted in the military during World War II, to then being honorably discharged and working rather unpopular jobs as a gas station attendant and mechanic and retail store janitor for the majority of his livelihood, and doing so saving, protecting, and investing his income religiously, systematically, consciously, and of course over time. I may add he may have done so with such a great plan and purpose that no other person but himself could see the end goal. A rather long end goal. As by the time he passed away at the age of 92 years old, back in 2014, he surprised everyone with incredible donations to his local hospital, his local library, and to his two stepchildren, family and friends. Donations in the size of millions. It was at this time when the world found out about the humble Ronald Reed and the story of how could a man working the majority of his life as an attendant at a gas station and later on as a janitor go on to join the riches of the multi-millionaire club. It's been reported after all that Ronald Reed the janitor and the gas station attendant summed up a wealth of $8 million in stock holdings and property at the time of his passing. And get this, no one knew. Doing so in a way with the primary intention of having had invested into blue chip dividend stocks. Now, one can argue there are multiple factors in play in the story of Ronald Reed, in which led to his great success. I mean, after all, you'd have to dive into his personal life, of course, to understand the dynamics of the relationships and choices he made within that circle. Apart from this, however, his frugal and simple way of living was made aware. And it's been made evident that his idea to buy and hold stocks was a belief he held close. Specifically seeking blue chip stocks, he understood that were less volatile utilizing the strict buy and hold strategy he had of not trading. He was reported to hold many of his stocks in certificate forms after all. Now how long have you had to hold to still hold those? He also engaged in the idea of reinvesting the dividend payouts, letting it compound, or as we often say in the dividend sphere today, activating that drip. Most importantly in my mind, still, and given the context of what my channel is all about, 
I want to use this story as an example as to why time was a huge pillar in Ronald Reed's success. You see, Ronald Reed had a plan that he knew was as sure of a bet as he could envision at the time. He played things safe and looked to the future, investing in blue chip boring stocks and then adding one of the most important pieces to his puzzle apart from consistency, which was allowing the years to build up, stacking in his favor, and having that take care of the rest. Now, I'm sure most of us don't want to wait till the age of 92 to be a millionaire or retire, but this is the great story of a strictly blue collar worker working some of the most unpopular jobs, accomplishing a goal many of us hope to attain, thinking it's unattainable. Now tweak this schematic layout in any which way that is an improvement for positive results, such as obtaining a higher income job, investing more at a time, and this will ultimately fast track itself. And sure, we can't see the future, and we can think to ourselves, well how is it that if I do this, I know it will actually work. I respond to this question by sharing my thought, that back when Ronald Reed started his investing journey, I'd imagine he may have seen and said the same, but unlike us, he may not have seen it done before. We have. Now using this time as a weekly reminder, make sure to subscribe and like the video if you haven't yet already, as this journey similar to Ronald Reed's is a long one, and I don't plan on stopping it anytime soon. And well, if not for me, how about for this picture of this baby pig in a fancy sweatshirt? It's pretty cute, right? And now as we always do, let's dive into the portfolio review for this last week, which wasn't too impressive by the way, but like time, we keep moving forward. So as you can see here, here we are in the Jesse's cash flow portfolio, about a week and a half away from September of 2021. And here we are currently sitting at 34,000, $538. This is with an overall return on the all-time charts here of 38.12%, which equates to a total portfolio gain of $5,397. And of this from market gain alone, we dipped a little bit. Last week we were hovering pretty close to the $5,000 mark. Here we are this week now hovering at $4,852. And from earned dividends, which is continuing to climb, here we are at $544.87. But anyways, if we want to take a look at the one week mark or the last week's performance, like I said, it wasn't very impressive. But here we are with a negative 0.35% return, a little bit of the Red Sea, a total portfolio loss of $119.99. It would have been a lot more if it wasn't for earned dividends here. Market gain was a negative loss of $147.34. And according to M1 Finance here, over the last week, or being expected over the last week or week coming, there's an earned dividends amount of $27.35. And if we take a look down below here, you know, it's a mix of the green lawn with primarily the Red Sea. Tech was in the green, utilities is in the green, real estate is also in the green, and healthcare is in the green. Materials as well. Everything else is in the red. The biggest hits were in the energy sector here at negative 3.32%, and overall nothing else comes close. And I think overall this last week, the biggest gainer, according to to percentage was healthcare. And second best is real estate, tech remaining fairly flat for the most part. And if we go into the dividend activity for this past week, here we are on August 16th getting paid from Alliant Energy Corps, $2.65. Also on August 16th getting paid by Procter & Gamble, $4.26. So almost about $8 between these two dividend payouts. That's like uh, almost enough for what a famous star at Carl's Jr. <laughs> Switching the fries for some Chris Cuts, of course. That's how I roll. And here we are on August 18th with our $500 deposit, just like we always do. And our funnel into the portfolio. This week, we had a $10 snowball, which I will take every single time. Last week was a $3. The week before that was a $23. But like I say, snow is snow. And $10. Absolutely no complaints with that. So that's going to wrap it up for this week's video. I'm curious to see how it turns out. I technically got a new laptop because my other one was burning out with all the editing that I do. Um, so hopefully this one looks a little bit more crisp or sharp. Or maybe it looks no different. Maybe audio is also about the same. Who knows? We'll see what it looks like in post. But the journey's been fun. 
the journey of creating and continuing with the dividend portfolio. Ultimately, I'm optimistic about it, and I look forward to it over time. Same with this. It's all been fun. And I know we tried something slightly different this week with the dividend story of Ronald Reed. Hopefully, it was enjoyed, as I enjoyed making it. And as you remember, this last week I was technically on quarantine. I think come Monday, as long as my test result is negative, I'll be going back into work, and I'll no longer be teleworking. But I will say, I might do a video on teleworking, because it definitely opened my eyes. This last week was really, really nice to be able to work from home. In a way, it was like a life hack, and I just felt like I had more time, even though I was still working. So maybe that's something I'll bring up in a future video, but enough of my rambling. Stay safe out there. We've made it through seven days, and because of that, we have a high chance of making it through another seven days. And with that being said, I'll see you on next week's video, as always, and as always, take care.